Hello and welcome to the Gig at the Gathering Unplugged. This is where we speak to bands who have been playing at Cow Highland Gathering over the years. And tonight we have a locally founded band. It is of course the one and only Heron Valley. I'm absolutely delighted to be joined by Abigail Pride who's going to chat to us about what the band have been up to. But before I catch up with Abigail, we're going to play one of their tracks. Hope you enjoy. Hello, how are you? Hi, how are you doing? Nice to see you. You too. I know it's been a while since obviously all this lockdown, haven't haven't seen anyone. Um, but it's yeah, it's lovely to have you on and, and thank you so much um for you know doing this tonight with us and going to give a wee chat about Head and Valley and what you've been up to. So it's uh, yeah, it's great to have you. A shame we obviously can't see you at Kill Games, but yeah. it's <laughs> We'd much rather be in the Cayley tent with you right now, but um, this is as, as good as it's going to going to get at the moment. It's so nice to have you, and I thought it'd be nice just for our viewers to hear a wee bit about Heron Valley, and um, you know, in case some people don't know, you're you're obviously a locally 
founded band um, in the Cowell area, um, but you know, come a long, a long way since since then. Um, so I thought it'd be nice just to you know let everyone know how the band was you know started out, and of course how you how you ended up joining and how you've evolved from them. Yeah, well, I mean, it kind of started. Um, I wasn't originally in the the very original lineup. I think there's I think there's a video on YouTube of the Kaylee Tent in I think 2011. It might have been mm -hmm. um, with the the kind of original band, and it was you know so different then when the Kaylee Tent was different then too. Like the Hell Games has evolved as well, um, and I kind of ended up joining because. Ewan and Ian, um, they were both kind of um, competing in pipe band stuff, um, so they, I was kind of coming in to, to fill in when they went there, obviously not on the bagpipes, but, um, but, um, <laughs> and then kind of started doing a bit of singing, and then um, we had Nick join on the drums, um, and then kind of over the course of a few years things changed, the band was changing literally all the time, like I can guarantee yeah. like your favourite even pop band have changed, but One Direction Absolutely. Name, like, <laughs> you know, so things kind of evolve and people's lives change and stuff, so um, we've gained a few new members, um, so the lineup's different now, um, but it's been a really lovely experience to be part of like a really long journey with the band and I credit so much of the band's success to um, to, to what it was in the beginning, you know, playing Kaylee's granny's birthday and stuff <laughs> like that, you know, so it was, it's been a nice journey. Uh, oh, absolutely. And, you know, you're talking about back in 2011, I think that was the very first year we, we actually had the Kaylee tent and, and Heron Valley were there. Oh, from oh a, yeah, from a, from a local perspective, it's been so nice to mm. see the band at all from, yeah. as you say, the more traditional Kaylee um, sort of four piece was it originally to now, um, you yeah. know, you've got You've got quite the lineup, and you obviously headlined the gig at the gathering last year. So it's it's fantastic, I think, for for everyone that comes to Kill Games to have seen this young band evolve throughout throughout the years. Um, and obviously, we hope we can have you back um, once well, once things are normal again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but and obviously, you've had like great success as well. You have an album and an EP. Um, and have you got any plans for for anything else coming out? Yeah, well, we were actually, we had finished writing our second album or and our third record um, just before lockdown. So I think it was about April, I think we were supposed to be going up to the studio. Um, so our keyboard player, um, Keith Morrison, um, he owns a studio up on Lewis um, oh, called the Studio. So um, <laughs> we're on his record label. So we were hoping in April to get that done, but that swiftly went down the drain. Um, but it's nice to be kind of focusing on ourselves as musicians you know because we've spent so much time as a as a band and a lot of our music has been as a band and our learning has been together so it's been nice to to have the time to, to work on ourselves but I, I miss them very much I miss yeah. them so much <laughs> I know it must be it must be very weird because you're all used to seeing each other all the time and probably gigging most weekends and traveling yeah. and and obviously, with um, with lockdown, you've you've not had that. So, have you seen have you seen the others at all, um, socially distantly, or have you um, still? Well, up? Ali, our um, new piper, um, Alistair McLean from Oban, um, he moved into my flat um, oh. about a month ago, I think. So I got to see him, and then um, it was my birthday, so I got to see him oh. from a distance, which is nice. But I've still none of us have seen Keith because he's still on the island, so kind of want to protect that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, it'll be nice when you can all finally reunite um, together and, and, and play. Have you been doing a lot of virtual things during lockdown? Um, some in the beginning. It was like really motivating in the beginning. And then as it kind of went on, I think we all slowly realised that, you know, things are getting more things are getting cancelled and, you know, it's going to be it's going to be a tough time for the event industry. Like, and then not only the musicians, but, you know, literally everyone that it takes to make an event go ahead. Um, yeah, so that absolutely. that was a kind of I think a dark like a dark side of it. Ha you know, having the time was great, but I think um, it's it's been difficult knowing that it's events, especially like Kill, like that's one of our absolute favourites, and knowing that that's yeah. not going to happen. So yeah, um, oh, it's, it's yeah. it is such difficult times, as you say, for for everyone, but it's especially live live music because it's that uncertainty mm -hmm. of when it's going to go ahead again. Yeah. 
Um, and I assume you must have had plans for this year. You know, you've you've toured America before. Did you, you know, how was that? Did you have anything up up and coming like that again? Yeah, it was incredible. You know, it's it's been nice to go away with the band. And and like you say, like I was missing them, but we are like a family. We do spend so much time together. Um, so going away and being in close quarters like that is a is a real wake up call. You really have to be you really have to be like know somebody um well and know what they <laughs> to, to spend. But um yeah, we were due to go away back on tour um in March actually was the first one. Uh, mm. and then I think June the fourth we were supposed to be away again and I think that, that was a long run, it was for about two months. And um, but we yeah. never even got on around to announcing that because Oh. Okay, so um yeah oh, well, that 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 has been really great as well yeah well fingers crossed next year it will be it will be the year um and, and when was it you were in america that you've been have you been a couple of times now yeah it's been a few times um so i think our first one was 2018 we did a summer out there um and then we did the the next winter as well through to march again um but it's nice you know i actually met a few people from Janine. It, oh like, wow! Honestly, honestly, nearly every state we were in, I'd be like, "Oh, you know, uh, Keith, he's from Lewis, uh, Kylie's from so and so, you know." And I was like, "Oh, I'm from a small place called Dunoon," and there'd be a wee Ooh, from the, from the back, room, you know. But obviously, you know, and um, they have oh. such close ties with us. In Dunoon, yeah, so. that's amazing. It's um, someone once said, "Dunoon's the center of the universe," and I think it's very yeah. true. No matter where you go, you can make a a connection you need and. <laughs> And of course, with Kill, we have so many international, um, you know, visitors and dancing and, exactly, yeah. and different things. So um, I'm sure some of them are watching just now, wishing they were, were over in, in Danoon this weekend. Absolutely. <laughs> um, now, Abigail, I see you've got your guitar next to you. So um, we'll obviously <laughs> chat a wee bit more. But um, mm -hmm. just, just now, I don't know if you fancy giving us a wee song or a tune. Yeah. Um, so I thought I would give you um, one from our EP. Uh, a little slow one since it's it's nice and um, so this is um the lost valley and um wrote this um about a, a valley in glencoe and um, so i'm sure loads of people have visited there especially people coming from other places have probably that's one of the go-to places <laughs> um, and it's it's about just basically being there and just taking in the scenery and stuff like that you know i, I think it's a nice thing to write about is where you come from so and um, yeah, this Absolutely. is Love Valley from our EP EB Storm. Well, you say the one who will remember spending your little spring. Take your breath away, cause the brain. Once good and then another walks over slowing down. Then you'll feel okay. Down below the under the perfect open sky. When you are down below the it'll leave you. Give a hand and take a step that further, take another 
Oh, that was that was lovely, <laughs> Abigail. Thank you oh, so thank much. You so much. <laughs> I'm sure everyone really, really enjoyed that. It's nice to nice to hear you sing again as well. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, and that was from your EP. So I assume you can yes. purchase your EP and album and other bits of merchandise on your your website. Is that right? Yeah. So it's um, available on our website, which is um, headandvalley.com or .co.uk. Um, and on the we, we Studio Bandcamp as well and on streaming sites as well. Oh, great, great. Well, I'm sure a few people will be clicking on after this, so hopefully, hopefully <laughs> are to, to support the band during these times. Yeah. Um, but obviously, you know, we're, we're here today about, um, you know, Cowell Highland Gathering, which would have been um, the weekend. I'm um, quite sad, actually, thinking about it. And, of yeah. course... Been been a Danoon girl yourself. You're no no stranger to the games. So yeah. I'm sure you've been many a time even before you you played there. Um, yeah. So what you know what was it like the first time you actually went up and played in front of a, a home home crowd? It must have been quite special for you. It it really is. I, I honestly, you know, we've like we said, we've been so many places and all over the world, but there really is nothing like playing for your home your home crowd. I think one of the the most amazing feelings was. I think what year would it have been? So we released um our single home um twenty seventeen. Mm. I can't remember. It would have either been that year or the year after and having people sing my song and the band song back to us was just amazing. Oh. It was just one of the most amazing feelings and it's it's so nice. And I think one of my favourite things is being able to get to speak to people from home afterwards and even the visitors that come um to visit the, the games as well it's so lovely just to be able to see people and know that people appreciate music it's lovely oh absolutely and hope the opportunity you know as you say to see your friends and play in front of them <laughs> um it's always a good laugh have you yeah. got uh have you got a favorite memory of Kewo? and it, do, it doesn't need to be to the band it could be oh. it could be personal or or with the band oh well okay I, i've got two then i think um I think probably my first one was like far as far back as I can remember and we were all sitting um me and my family in the in the castle gardens and watching the, the fireworks and Aww. but it was it was still dark and I think the march pass was still going on so it was really amazing to see all the pipe bands still going down and the fireworks going off so yeah that Aww. that that was definitely one of my favorites so it's it's so it's so stunning it's such a special games you know there's oh, yeah. there's not one like it anywhere else so it's lovely um yeah and I think maybe one of my other favorites was definitely this year just gone I think just a favorite gig of mine. <laughs> it was just it was just amazing I don't know like what makes me think that but it was just really great so yeah it was a great a great crowd at the gig it yeah, always is but so. this year it really was and it was so nice to have have Head and Valley headlining and yeah just a, an amazing atmosphere and yeah, as we say, hopefully, um, yeah, hopefully we can get you back very soon in the future. I'm sure the whole crowd would absolutely love, yeah. would love to love to have you. Yeah, and of course, we'll just be part of the games again. So, um, mm -hmm. well, <laughs> well, Abigail, it's been so so nice speaking to you. Thank you. Um, Thank and you so much for having me. No, it's been lovely, and we look forward to seeing Head and Valley forever, wherever you may play next, um, whether it's virtually or or hopefully we'll, yeah. we'll get to see you in person <laughs> very soon. But thank you so yeah. much for your time, um, and yeah, and hope you stay well and safe. Great, thank you so much. Thank see you. you.